Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In previous video, I will show you how to use QInt validator class to validate the integer value. In this video, I will show you how to use Q double validator class to validate the floating point or decimal point value in our application. The Q double validator class is such a different from the QInt validator. So let's see the example and make a such a example code. Let's include the basic header file qt4 and qtgui. Okay, now let's add one line edit control to get the input from the user. Now let's create the object of q double validator class validate. It is equal to new q double validator and pass the your parent. Now let's set the minimum value, bottom value, and top value. Set bottom value is uh, 10 and uh, top value is double triple nine. You can also set the decimal point. I just entered it two. And here you have to set the notation of your value. Set notation of value. I will enter the standard notation, standard value of uh, standard notation. And now set this validator to your line edit control. Set validator. Okay, now let's run the application. wait for the build and you can see i just i cannot enter the three digit more than three digit number and it is i cannot enter the decimal point is more than two which is i defined in the code so if you change here two to five so you can enter the five decimal point in your value Wait for the bill and check it. One, two, three, four, five. You can see I cannot enter the more than the five decimal point value. See, this is the basic where you can set how to set the double validator uh, class to your any line edit control where or where you want get the input from the user. Now let's understand the basic functions. Add a button control. And now let's write T and check the some different inputs. Take a Q string. Value is equal to 100.99. And now let's create the validator object. You can set the decimal point or notation. Set bottom point is 10 and set top is triple nine and also set the notation, which is the standard notation. And also set the decimal point also. Set decimal is uh, I just set to two. Okay, and this is our validator is ready. Take one post integer value which is not in use. And now let's validate this value. Call the v dot validate and pass your value here and also add the post argument. Now let's run the application. So you can see this is a acceptable value. Okay, now let's change the input.
I just add the more decimal point value just add to 3 and now let's run the application Okay, here so you can see that this is the invalid value because it is the value is come in range but decimal points are not in a range if you change it when you change here to two or any more decimal point which is the become the valid value okay now let's one more value and which is come from out of the range change here to 5000 okay now let's run the application wait take one more validation value here change to 5002 take a negative integer value and we have set the value 10.98 see both the value of this both value uh, You can see both are invalid value so by this way you can easily validate the standard notation value now let's write the uh, scientific note validate the scientific notation value vs for scientific notation value in scientific notation you cannot set the decimal point or uh, top bottom range now take a value And write this some scientific notation notation value is five point double five six eight nine e zero one. This is the scientific value, scientific notation value. And now let's validate this value. It is valid or not? Change your object name and use your value s, which is now let's run the application and check click here and this is an invalid just because we have to here change to standard to scientific notation And now let's run the application again. And click here. So you can see this is the acceptable scientific notation value. Now let's take one invalid scientific notation value. Just simply add uh, one more E. Okay, and now let's run the application. Click your button and say this is the invalid. Now let's take one more value here, change to add a plus. Okay, now check it this is valid or not you can see it is a acceptable scientific value so by this way you can easily validate the scientific notation value and a standard notation double value in your application so this is how q double validator works and please drop your comment if you have any questions about q double validator class and please subscribe to my youtube channel youtube channel like the video and share this video with your friends and press the bell icon to get the notification of new video and thanks for watching my video thank you